Second class requirement number one, part B. Using a compass and map together. Take a five mile hike or a 10 mile bicycle ride. That's been approved by your adult leader and your parent or guardian. Your skills with a map and compass can be very useful on a hike or bicycle ride over longer distances. If you intend to go cross country or travel in unfamiliar areas, some advanced map and compass techniques will definitely come in handy. Before you start, it's a good idea to draw on the magnetic north lines on your map like you learned in second class requirement 1A. With your map spread flat, find the map symbol that represents your starting point and then the symbol at the location you want to reach. Now lay your compass on the map with the edge of the base plate on a straight line from your starting point to your ending point. If the points are too far apart for the compass to reach, just connect them with a straight pencil line and then set the edge of your compass along that line. Now, with the direction of travel arrow on the compass pointing toward your destination, hold the base plate firmly and rotate the compass housing until the meridian lines of the compass are parallel to the magnetic north lines drawn in your map. When you've completed this step, the N on your compass should point toward the top of the map, and you will have set the compass with the bearing you'll need to go in a straight line from your starting point to your ending point. Now, from your starting point in the field and with the same bearing you set earlier, Hold the compass in front of you with the direction of travel arrow pointed straight ahead. Then keeping the compass still, turn your entire body around until the compass needle covers the orienting arrow. At that point, the direction of travel arrow on the compass is pointing towards your destination and you are facing the direction you need to walk or ride. As you start, it's a good idea to pick an object in the distance that lines up with your direction of travel, like a tree or a rock. When you reach that landmark, take another compass bearing and head towards another object. Moving from one point to the next, you'll find your way directly to your destination. By now, you've already figured out that learning these map and compass techniques will take lots of practice before you're ready to head out on your hiker ride. The good news is you can practice them right in your own backyard or neighborhood. Now, there's another map and compass technique that you might find useful. If you know your current location on the map and you can see an identifiable landmark, such as a lake, building, or mountain, Take a bearing on that landmark with your compass by aiming the direction of travel arrow at the landmark you want to identify. Then, turn the compass housing until the needle lines up with the orienting arrow on the compass and the north end of the needle points at the end. Now, on your map, pinpoint the location where you're currently standing. Place the edge of your compass base plate against that point. Keeping the base plate edge on that point, Rotate the entire compass until the meridian lines on the compass are parallel with the magnetic north line you've drawn on your map. Once you've done that, the end on your compass should be pointed towards the top of that map. Now, you can draw a line from your starting point along the edge of the compass. Look at the map symbols under that line, and one of them should represent the landmark you want to identify. Once you've mastered the basics of map and compass use, you'll be prepared to learn about GPS or global positioning systems that use satellites to pinpoint your location on Earth. GPS outfits are used by scout units in search and rescue operations, but they are no substitute for learning to use a map and compass. If you're interested in GPS, ask your leader about geocaching games and other GPS activities in your council. That's second class requirement 1B. Take a five mile hike or a 10 mile bike ride using a map and compass. You'll find lots more about maps and compass techniques in your Boy Scout handbook. The key on this one is to practice, practice, practice. Then go over your compass and map skills with your leader before starting on your trek. Remember, good planning is the best way to ensure a great trip. And be sure to get approval from your leader and your parent or guardian before you head out.